Hey, hey, it's JR. I'm an artist, muralist from Tempe, Arizona. And I got a couple projects I wanna share with you guys, two of them specifically. Um, both of them you can do at home. Both are really fun to do. We've got project one is rock painting. Now, I'm known to do these things called humanities and they're like these uh, really bright, vibrant faces. And I'm gonna show you how to do those here on some rocks that I found. And project number two is pot painting, taking some old pots that are just around the house and making them look really nice. Using spray paint, house paint, whatever you got around. So follow along and I'll show you how I do it. Go over what materials you need. Um, here I've got a simple white paint and primer that I got from a hardware store. I think white works the best because it will lay down a bright base for your color paint to go over. And here I've got a clear, clear coat, something to protect it from the elements. And then I've got my skin tones. Pretty much any hardware store will have some spray paint skin tones. Pretty cheap, usually about three bucks a can. Um, just some simple paint. Pretty much any paint will work. And you've got paint markers. These are used for little details like the lines and, you know, if you want to give them a little pop of color, these are really good for it. And then you've got some brushes with water. The other thing I forgot is gloves. You don't want a pair of gloves too. That's not in the video. So find your rocks. I don't know where you'll get them from, but find them, get them. Uh, as you can see, I have a brush here because it's really important to get all the dirt off. If you paint over the dirt, then the paint might flake off when the dirt comes off. So let them dry completely and then get them ready for that initial white base. So this white base is primer for the rock. It'll help your color stick for the long haul and also give it a nice bit of you know, pop. I found some house paint here. So just to show you, you can pretty much use whatever you have around. It doesn't have to be spray paint. If you've got some bright colored house paint, you can use that. But as you can see, they are ready to go. They're ready for some color, skin tone. So here I'm just organizing what color I want with what rocks. And here I'm applying the flesh tones. So this is always my favorite part. because You can start to see them come to life. They start to look like little, little eggheads. They start to look like little people. And this one is ready. So bring it over to your little workstation after it dries completely. It has to dry completely. And you can grab a pencil and start sketching out what you want the face to look like. If you're going for the humanities, feel free to go to my Instagram and you can look through and check out some styles there of humanities. I don't mind if you guys copy the style. So I'm starting to fill in the colors of the mouth using you know, just black and white, white for the teeth, black for the void of the mouth there. And then this is an important step, giving the hair and eyebrows a white underbase again, because I like to use bright colors for the hair. So that white underbase is really, really important. So since it's so much square inchage, I just use the brush for that. Now the paint markers come in handy because they're really good for line work. So I'll use the paint markers to do, you know, like the eyes, the lines between the teeth, and all the border lines to tie in the nose and eyebrows and things like that. So there you go. There's that black liner. This is what helps to make it look like a cartoon too. Black lines are really important. So here I'm using some colored paint markers for the details like the texture in the nose, the texture in the hair, paint markers again for texture in the nose. I think I really do think it's the details that bring this thing alive. And there you have it. It's pretty much done. Uh, I'll do this usually like four times, five times in a day so I can have a bunch of these happy faces smiling at me at the end of my project. So this is a ridiculously simple project pot painting so first thing you'll need obviously is a pot 
doesn't really matter what the pot looks like, what the texture is, because spray paint will paint mostly anything. Some tape and a bag. Now, the bag is to protect the plant. Gloves are to protect your hands. And then whatever spray paint colors you want. Now, I've got some Montana 94s here, but you can pretty much use anything you can get at a hardware store or stuff you've got around the house. So go ahead and protect that plant from the spray. Now, if you notice, I don't use tape here because the just a little bit of the dirt was exposed and I didn't really need to tape it up. It was just enough to protect the plant and that was what I wanted. So here I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a base coat. I chose black because I just thought it would look nice with my style of art, something to have around the house. My work has a lot of black and a lot of black lines with shocks of color. So I just continued that theme. And then I'm just giving it a little bit of, just a little bit of love, a little bit of little sprays of paint, little dabbles of yellow to make everything shine. Almost looks like stars or the universe when it's done. And when you're done with that, pull the bag off and you know, wait till it completely dries really before you touch it and you can check out your work. You can use a brush later or paint markers, those paint markers you had before if you wanted to add some details. But here I'm just showing you some of the other pots I did earlier that day. You know, you don't have to just do one, you can do multiple at a time so that way they match and it almost seems like a, like a cohesive project you're working on. That's pretty much it. I'm just here to prompt you to do some things around the house to liven things up, make things match a bit, give them some color.